What do you believe? Because it is our beliefs that determine our behavior. If I can't change my outputs, everything that's coming in, everything that I believe, everything that I see will determine what I do. If I can't do it, if I haven't done it, if it seems impossible and I won't even try, then something's off with my belief system. For years, decades, generations, families will struggle. And struggle is passed down poverty, scarcity, and lack, and losing. And I just want to ask anybody listening to me, why not you? Why can't you be the person that changes everything? And the problem with many of you is that you're surrounded by people who ask you the wrong questions. Why do you sweat? Why can't you be the one that makes history? Why can't you be the one that wins again? Why can't you be the one that breaks cycles? Why can't you be the one that overcomes the demons that have haunted a family? for generations. I don't know, maybe you're that person listening to me that's always there for everybody else. They text you, you're there. They email you, you're there. They come over, they knock on your door, unexpected, uninvited, and you just make yourself available for them. You're the type of person where other people call you sliding down the wall saying, I can't do this, I can't push, I can't fight, I'm tired, I'm weary, nothing's working and you do it for free. It's gratis work. It's philanthropy. For many of us, it's ministry. We've made it a lifestyle. We're always there for everybody else. And I just want to ask the question, and it's not an invitation into narcissism or to be egocentric or to be self-centered, but to get out of this self-sabotaging, self-destructive behavior not believing in yourself, not showing up for yourself, not putting it in for yourself. Why not you? But when it comes to you, you don't believe. You don't support you. You don't invest in you. You don't believe you. You don't see it for you. When you don't believe in yourself, it's disempowering, it's self-sabotaging, it's self-destructive. You've got to stop waiting for the opportunity to come along. And you've got to learn to master the art and the privilege of creating the opportunity. What is the vision? What is the aim? What is the target? What is the assignment? And do you believe? Because when you believe, nobody can convince you otherwise. There is no tomorrow. There is no plan B. I am completely devoted to my level one priority. The difference between the man that gets it done and the man that does not is that one man is focused on his history. He's focused on where he has failed and he's immersed and immobilized by it. No matter the odds, he's completely devoted to this idea that I'm not what I used to be and I'm not where I want to be, but I have the opportunity and the privilege and the capacity to develop, to go and become something, to evolve, to move from point A to point B. And even though my end game, my target may be S or Z, I know I'm here at C, and I know in order to go from C to E, I need to touch D. If we go back to scripture in the book of Genesis, we'll discover where God said, let there be light. He spoke it. Many of you have been listening and taking notes, but you've got to start speaking this thing. Marcus, I've heard this 
a million times, but the more I speak it, the more I believe it. And the more I believe it, the more potential I can tap into. And the more potential I tap into, the more action I'll take. The more action I take, the more results that I get. And the more results that I get, the more I believe. And the more I believe, the more potential I get. The more potential I tap into. We have an unlimited amount of potential in us. It's called stored up potential. And the only way to unlock stored up potential is to believe. And so as I believe in me, as I put it all on the table, as I put all my chips in, as I leave it all on the floor, as I completely commit to me, as I completely commit to the goal at hand, and people, fathers and mothers make the same mistakes until the one shows up. Until the one shows up that changes everything. Why not me? Type it in the comments. Why not me? You've got everything you need to go to the next level, to obliterate glass ceilings and move forward. All you got to do is take one step and you're no longer where you are and you're no longer where you used to be. Just take a step forward. You've got enough zeal and fire and vigor and vitality. You are a person of vision and valor and discipline. You got this thing. Why not you? Stop looking for everybody else to do it. Stop looking for everybody else to support it. Believe in it, to hand it to you, to point you in the right direction. You have everything you need right now in this moment to take a step forward. So do it. You're talented enough. You're hungry enough. Do it. Do it. And as you build and as you scale and as you create and as you grow and as you believe and as you launch, everyone that is assigned to you and assigned to your purpose and your destiny will show up. Build it and they will come. I need you to send this video to every organization, every person, every team, everybody who has ever struggled with believing that it's you. It's always been you. You are the first pick. You are the only option. And there will never be another way. Believe that you're that valuable before you can shock the world, you need to shock yourself. Unlock that store potential. Take action. Get results. And teach others how to do the same.